Well, hello, fellow photographers. Thanks for joining me. Today, I want to show you guys how you can fix one of the age-old problems that landscape photographers encounter, and that is when you have a large dominant foreground object. You want to be able to make it big in the foreground, so you use a wide-angle lens and you shoot low, but that makes everything in the background way smaller. So what you really want is something where you can have a wide angle in the foreground and a telephoto in the background. Let me show you how you can solve that in effects using the new split field filter. So I'm going to click on add filter and I'm going to select split field. What split field does is it lets you magnify and move a portion of the image within the frame. So it lets you take a background region and make it bigger. So you can see here, I've got an on-screen control. This lets me control where that line of division is at. I can control it horizontally. I can also rotate it. And I can also adjust the transition, how quickly it transitions between the original and the larger scaled version. So for a photo like this, I could easily grab the scale slider and I could make it quite a bit larger. The problem is, you notice my reflection in the pool down at the bottom doesn't get bigger to match. So we have to be a little trickier. We actually want to create a division line that kind of is diagonal right above the cactus. And that'll let us keep the foreground uh, puddle as well as everything else in the right line. So I'm going to make an angle about like this. And I'm going to bring it down here right to above the cactus. I'm just going to adjust a few little things here to make sure I get it in just the place I need it to be. Now I want to make sure that I get it right past that little point. Now I've got my scale too large here, so I'm going to bring my scale down to something a little bit more reasonable. Let's bring my transition up so that it's a little bit more of a natural looking feather here. There we go, until I get something about like that. Let's turn that on and off so you can see the difference. There's before and there's after. That let me scale a large portion of my image larger while keeping my foreground consistent. This didn't require creating multiple layers or complex masks to be able to do it. I can even use the nudge tool here to move the scene around to make it fit my scene even better if I wanted to, just like that. Again, let's take a look at a before and an after. There's before. And there's after, just like that. All right, that's the split fill filter in effects. Thanks for watching.